Hello Leo, welcome. It's Sandra here from Wolf, Wolf Moon Tarot. It's nice to be back. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. It's throwing it down with rain here in the middle of England where I am. I'm just looking out of the window now, it's throwing it down. But the, the garden's enjoying it, so I suppose that's the main thing, isn't it? All right, um, okay. This is going to be your reading for October 2022, uh, Leo. All right, so let's see what the universe wants to say to you at this time. October 2022, or thereabouts. Um, and as always, Leo, this reading won't be for everybody. It, it will be for somebody or for a few of you, but it won't be for everybody. So take what resonates with you to a greater or a lesser degree. All right, Leo, we have Expect Powerful Change. Well, New Moon Eclipse. And the full moon in Cancer, a personal issue, reaches a resolution. All right. Well, that's got to be good news, isn't it? All right, so what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? October 2022, or thereabouts. What do we have for Leo, please? October Clarify all the cards on the table, please, for Leo. And clarify all the cards on the table for Leo, please. All right, we have a card that's jumped out, so we'll have a quick look at it. It's the Five of Rods, and this talks about conflict, disagreement, um, different perspectives that causing some form of a disharmony. Okay, Leo, a bit more of a shuffle. Right, so first of all, we've got the Knight of Cups here, um, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, um, the Knights um, deliver opportunities, deliver messages, bring things forward, get things moving, very action orientated. Um, of course, the Cups are to do with love and relationships or whatever is meaningful for your heart and your emotions. Um, so here we have the Knight of Cups now. Uh, bringing something forward, something, an, an offering of some sort or a message to do with love or whatever it is that is meaningful for you. And of course it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and this is uh, something new, a new opportunity, new information to do with work, career, finances. But something that's promising growth and abundance, but it's in its very early stages. All right, and this is being delivered by the Knight of Cups. So this is something that um, is meaningful, very meaningful for you, um, Leo. All right, let's have a look at the heart of your reading. We have another Ace here, the Ace of Cups. Um, but we've got the King of Wands. 
and the King of Wands uh, is very much uh, the entrepreneur is very much a go-getter he'll see an opportunity and go for it very creative um, there's very much about movement and change all right very very linked in with um, your energy the fire the fire and the wands energy here um, all right so this could be representing yourself as the king of wands it's not gender specific leo so this could be you the uh, being creative um, seeing an opportunity here and it could be that this opportunity is is what's on offer here it's the ace of cups and the ace of cups is this um new beginning a new opportunity to do with what's meaningful for your heart your emotions um and the cup is full to overflowing here so it's something very very special um okay so let's see and of course, we have the Knight of Cups um, delivering this uh, information or this opportunity to do with work, career or finances. And of course, and that's, that's exactly where the King of Wands are. You see, you'll find um, people who have got a King of Wands energy, you can find them at work in the creative department. They get things moving, get things going. Um, but I feel this is very much representing yourself, Leo. Um, and there's something here that's very exciting for you. Um, you know, your your cup of emotion is, is overflowing here. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's have a look at the root of this. Well, we have the Page of Swords here and the Three of Rods. So the pages are the young messengers in the Minor Arcana. Um, and the Page of Swords delivers communication. Um, we've got we've got two swords here on on a, on a uh, a cushion that is that is um, offering, so he's communicating some form of an an opportunity um, or an offering here, but it's been so, so this communication has already come th come through um, about something in its early stages, and it's to do with the, with the three of rods. And the Three of Rods is when a lot of hard work has been put into things, planning, organisation, hard work. Um, and then a time of waiting for your ship to come in. All right, and I feel there's the time of waiting um, for things to come in, to start to happen. And this is the information that um, has been delivered. This is the communication that's been delivered. And I feel that's what the Knight of, of Cups has delivered here. And it's to do with this new opportunity to do with work, finances or career. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a look. What's happened in the past <clears throat> to lead on to this current situation? Well, we have the Seven of Coins and the Ace of Rods or the Ace of Wands. So what's happened in the past was um, it certainly put in a lot of hard work uh, into, into a situation, into something. Um, nurturing something to grow um, and then waiting for the harvest so just waiting for that harvest um, after all of your hard work here and it's clarified and it's to do with the ace of rods and the ace of rods is um, the new opportunity that's promising growth expansion good times um, creativity very much very much your energy Leo and so you're just having to work a bit longer work you know um, apply apply yourself to this situation and just wait for the right time to grasp this this rod this wand and take advantage of this opportunity and of course that's what I feel that's what the page of swords delivered But of course, the Three of Rods is a, is a slow card. It's a time of waiting, um, as was the Seven of Coins here in the past. But certainly information was coming in, being delivered. And we can see that on the table here. So what are you thinking about, Leo? Well, we have the Two of Coins and we have the King of Rods. 
So we have lots of wands and rods on the table here, which is very much your sign, um, Leo. You're, so you're very, you're very present here on the table. All right. So um, what's on your mind at the moment? The two of coins. Um, so this is juggling, you know, juggling two things uh, by but, oh, at the same time peddling, peddling furiously to go forward. But having to, it's a bit precarious, it's got a bit of a precarious feel about it here. Um, doing a bit of juggling, you know, and having to balance things out. But there's, there's, there's action here, but you can see this beautiful rainbow coming from the wheels um, of the monocycle here and coming up to the jester here. All right, so... This is um, this is a nice balancing act, if you like. This is a good thing, even though it's a little bit precarious. And this is what you're thinking about. Um, and again, the King of Rods, here you are again. It's not gender-specific, Leo. But here you are again, the King of Rods. Um, there you are with the, the wand, the rod, that we can see here in, as a past influence. That you were just waiting for the opportunity to grasp. Um, and here it is um, again, and this is this is yourself. I feel you know, wanting to grasp, hold this one, this opportunity, this exciting, inspirational opportunity. Um, but you're doing a bit of juggling here, um, whilst you know keeping things moving forward. Okay. So going forward. Right, we've got lots of pentacles and coins here again going forward. All right, going forward, Leo, we've got um, the Eight of Coins and we've got the King of Pentacles. Um, okay, the Eight of Coins, this is having worked hard, doing a lot of creating, creating something, um, putting a lot of time and effort into, into growing and developing, it could be to do with work, finances, career, all right. So, you know, being very focused and diligent, reading, looking at the facts, getting all the information. All right. Um, clarified by the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles uh, can be an employer, so this could be to do with an employer or a job offer. This could be to do with a job offer. Um but certainly something on offer here. You can see the King of Pentacles offering this pentacle here and he's offering the pentacle um, to this person here who is, you know, it could be reading the, the offering, it could be reading the job offer or the raise or the inheritance or the gift, whatever it is to do with. Uh, but the King of Pentacles is very grounded, is very, very much to do with um, the earth, We've got the bull in the background here. Um, so, so, you know, um, very uh, reliant. It can be a bit stubborn, but um, very reliable. So there's definitely there's something on offer here, and I feel it's to do with work, finances or career. And it's something you are considering. You've put a lot of hard work into getting where you, you are, Leo. And this is something that you are that is worth considering. So remember, expect powerful change and a personal issue reaches a resolution. So let's have a look what your spirit guides would like to say to you now. Well, we have the magician, which is a major arcana, and we've got the queen of pentacles now. So we've had the king, and we now we've got the queen. So Definitely, this is something definitely to do with uh, work, career, finances in some way. Um, but the magician, the grand manifester in the in the major arcana, uh, and the magician is sees what he wants. It's very much uh, to do with alchemy, so he knows how to bring things into his reality. So what he wants, what he dreams of, he knows how to. Uh, manifest or manipulate if, if necessary to bring something into his reality for going forward. The Grand Manifesto. Um, and it's to do with 
again the Queen of Pentacles is to do with um, putting all the offerings into action, bringing it to fruition. Um, the kings tend to get the ideas and the offering, bringing things forward, but the queens take things further. They put things into action. They're very action orientated, and they the queens make things happen. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a very much about manifesting and making the offer that's on the table here, making it up and putting it into practice, taking advantage of what's on offer now. Um, and taking it forward and, and and having all the tools to her elbow to be able to do that remember it's not gender specific Leo all right lovely fantastic fantastic reading here for you Leo right we'll just get two final messages Remember, this reading isn't for everybody, Leo, but whoever it's for, I'm sure you can recognise your situation here. Two final messages for Leo, please. Two final messages for Leo. Leo, you're going into unknown territory. This is you're at the, on the cusp of, of, of going in a, a direction that you've not you've not been before, the start of your new journey. But you are exactly where you need to be now. This is this is the right place for you. All right, and solitude. So in silence, peace prevails. So this is about having time to yourself, meditating, um, having time to have your own thoughts, to think things through. Um, and to get that sense of peace within yourself at this time because it looks like things are the potential is for things to suddenly get going in the near future so a good time to take time out um, and center yourself all right and have your own thoughts all right leo um Remember the reading isn't for everybody, but it is for somebody. And I hope you can um, recognise your situation here and that the reading has given you a little bit of clarity and food for thought with your situation. But good luck going forward. And until next time, bye-bye for now.